National Hockey League action is on the agenda tonight, courtesy of EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski, along with Ray Ferraro for this interconference showdown. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Flames take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Traps that puck tight to his chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Gets it to the other point. And that is one way to lose trust for people going in front of the net after that. Yeah, the enthusiasm level goes down when you've got a point shot that keeps coming in by scores. Well, quickly the road team gets an upper hand here. And always a little more uncomfortable for the home team when they have to play from behind. That happened quick. The defensive zone turnover leaves the shooter in a good spot. The goalie can't catch up to it. It beats him low. Pittsburgh's got that lead. They were talking about wanting to quiet that home crowd here. Well, they certainly did. Out of the gate quickly. A couple of shifts. Now they're up 1-0. Puck grab by Valimaki. And now he angles it across to Lindholm. Here's a shot. Great save by the Smith. They fight for it along the boards. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Moves the puck. Off the one-timer. No room for that one to get through. Calgary's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Smith's going to cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Quick pass to Kapanen. From the boards, he takes that pass. Way too much congestion blocks that. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Shillington's moving it ahead. Knocked away with the stick by Ruido. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Poked away in the defensive end. And they won't connect on that one. Puck scooped up by Marino. Cut into the front of the net. From the place 99 made famous. Snaps one from the slot. He scores! Evgeny Malkin! I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Drives to the paint. Puck goes out of play. We got a face off coming up. Dumoulin's name on this list is of no surprise. Always a very aggressive player. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Penguins now lead by two. Calgary's got possession here in their own end. Takes the pass. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Ruedel. Pittsburgh's team defense is something to watch tonight. I love the way that they've just shut this game down. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. It's a two-on-one rush. With the backhand. Oh, what a stop as he gets a piece of it with his toe. Smothered that in close chance. Can't get a hold of that pass. Grabbed along the board by Fadoon. Here's a short pass to Richie. Moves into the slot. 
Another score! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. The Flames ready for the faceoff at center ice and narrowing that gap down to one now. Uh, that changes the whole mindset of this game. Now you're down just one. You're in the back half of the period. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck picked up by Matheson. Gets it over to Bluger. The Flames take possession of the neutral zone. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Moves it quickly over to Tanev. Can't get it to go. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Let's it go from the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Takes it and looks ahead. Winding down. Oh, off the crossbar. What a chance on the play. Pittsburgh's not going to stretch out this lead. It'll stay pretty tight as this puck hits the post. Off the left wing and into center. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Taken by Latang, and the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Denies him! Not a lot of guys like to shoot that backhand because you can't get much on it. He does. He's one of the best in the game, delivering the puck on goal from the backhand side. Through center along the wing. The Penguins have it now. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes the feed after his goalie chooses not to cover up. And that pass can't connect. Quick feed to Lindholm. Taken along the wall by Goudreau. And he comes up with it. The Smith's going to elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. Lots of time left in this period. The Penguins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Sends the pass over. Can't catch up to the pass. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Quick pass across to Menjapani. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Handles it along the blue line. To the front. He scores! Aye, aye, captain! He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Pittsburgh's now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. Calgary's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Hangs onto the puck. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to Marino. Can't connect on the pass. Calgary's got the puck now. Poked away in the offensive end. Hammers one from the point. Fantastic save! And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. That pass doesn't go. Goes right to the crease. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Picked up along the wall by Malkin. Turns it aside with the blocker by Markstrom. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Winds up from the point. Oh, what a stop. Great stick work with the steal. 
Pittsburgh's put themselves in a good defensive posture all night. That's hard work. That's being on top of your game. They've been an excellent team tonight. Oh, and a miss, Flyers. That goes right out of the zone. Quick pass to Matheson. Takes the feed. Scoops up the puck now. Across the line and on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, he keeps it out with a great reactionary stop with the toe. Let's see what the officials are calling. Fadoon's going off for interference. Power play is ranked top 10 in the league, guys. They are extremely dangerous here. And with the first one of the night, let's see what happens. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Calgary's got possession of the puck. Oh, it goes right off the post. Calgary's close, but they can't get close enough. That shot hits the goal post and stays out. And they send it down the ice. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Kachuk's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Goudreau. Back to the point it goes. The Penguins get a hold of the puck under man. Now he takes it over the line. Quick feed to Lindholm. From the left side, they gain the zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Couldn't complete the pass. Back to center ice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Tries to the crease, and now it's grabbed by Tanev. Moves it quickly over to Lewis. Feeds it to Lucic. Wrists one. Oh, what a save in front. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Tosses it to Rust. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And that's broken up. He scores! Sometimes it's just your night. He's got his second goal of the game. This is a good evening for him. Close that off. He can't get it with his pad, and the blocker's not quick enough. Pittsburgh's goal here late in the second has to take a ton of wind out of the sails from their opposition here. I don't see how it couldn't. You're only one down, you feel pretty good about yourself. Now you're down two. It's a pretty tough spot to be. Keeps it alive. Directed over to Lafferty. Pittsburgh's trying to make something. He scores! It's good to be greedy. You get one, you chase that next one. Really put your foot down on the opponent. So nice, they snipe twice. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. Pittsburgh's offensive volcano continues to erupt here in the second period. They look like a juggernaut. They're running into this second intermission with a large lead. The Penguins will take it behind the net. From the point, what a save by Markstrom. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Pitlick. Puts it on net. Turned aside with a glove by DeSmith. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Carter's got it into offensive territory. Move to the middle. Nice save from point blank range. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Tees it up from the point. Oh, an unbelievable stuff by Markstrom. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice.
Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Pittsburgh's focus now is just locked down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. He's got a real knack around the net. When he gets a chance, he doesn't seem to need too many to know how to finish. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Pittsburgh's got a 5-2 lead. Here's a blast. Big time stop there. The Smiths had a relatively easy night. He hasn't faced many shots, and they've got a nice, comfortable lead. Moves it to Kachuk. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. And no luck on that pass attempt. Driving right to the front. Great save from in tight. And that's knocked away by Manchapani. And the puck's booted away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And that's broken up. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Two goals in the bag already. He's got the puck again, showing some great techers. Outstanding skill as he's got the puck. He won't give it up. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Keeps a hold of it on the play. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends it over to Kapanen. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Let's it fly. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Malkin's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. With the blast. And that's denied by Markstrom. Pretty efficient save there. The goalie helps the D-man out by putting the rebound in the corner. And now he tries to get it across to Malkin. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Markstrom's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Crosby's among the league leaders in plus minus. I gotta be honest with you, James. This was a list I didn't get on very often. Calgary's won the face off deep in their own end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Puts it in deep. Great reach with the stick by Pitlick. And he passes it up ahead to Carter. Pittsburgh's in now. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Battling for it along the boards. Quick pass to Ruedel. And they'll go on the attack after that turnover. Look out! That's gloved by DeSmith. Really like his positioning here as he's able to get the glove up there to make the save. But it doesn't have to be a spectacular, crazy save because he's in a good spot. Misses over the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Here's a short pass to Lucic. Excellent stick work on the play. From the opposite point. Makes the save on the slapper. Quick feed to Matheson. Pittsburgh's moving it into the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Carter. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Denies him on the slapper. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Kings are on the schedule for the next day here. Yeah, it's fine for us to look ahead, but you really can't do that. You still got to finish the job at hand. Calgary's won the draw, and they'll go to work. That's using the body on the block. And now he moves it quickly to Bluger. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Cuts to the paint. Moves the puck down low. Moves it to McGinn. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Tries to get the puck over to Kachuk. Long reach breaks up the momentum. 
Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. And there's the whistle icing the call. Here in the late going of the frame, it's a 5-2 hockey game. The Penguins win the draw. This is a big draw for him. His players were a little tired around him. Puck grab by Gensel. The Flames get a hold of it. Pokes it away in his own end. Quick pass to Kachuk. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes a hit on the play. Here's a short pass to Heinen. And that's picked off. And now it's over to Goudreau. Oh, and the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Heinen. Quick feed to Rust. Moves it to Kachuk. Keeps hold of the puck. And here at center, that's intercepted. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Sends a pass over. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. They've got all the answers right now. The winning streak continues as they find a way to win again. There's the old cliche, right? Good teams buy ways to win. Bad teams buy ways to lose. They can't do anything wrong these now, days. Now, when there's a turning point, James, they find a way to be on the positive side of it. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.